Had it been an interesting week for you at uh, the LeBron or the uh, Nike camp, I guess it is now. Uh, take me through your experience. You know, playing with the, some of the best college players in the country was amazing. Seeing their size and athleticism and what they can do on the court really op opens up fellas' eyes. You know, great experience. How do you feel you performed at it? I played pretty terrible my first day. I was, I was really nervous. I don't, know, I don't really know why, but kind of felt overwhelmed. And then when I got comfortable, I played well. What was, uh, you know, you, there was a couple of tweets from some draft people who said that they really liked the way you played out there. I mean, once you got comfortable, what do you think worked well for you? Shooting the ball. You know, I made, knocked down a couple of shots that made all the difference. First day, I couldn't make a shot, you know. It was, that's part of the nerves, and, and plus we were shooting from the NBA threes, which makes a huge difference. So, how many days is it? Is the camp three? Three. So we flew you, out there Friday. We played for three days and then came back Tuesday. Okay. So days two and three went a lot better. Then, in other words. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Um, that's just a just a comfortability standpoint. Comfortability standpoint. Yeah. With like the NBA draft that happened last week and seeing Aaron get picked and everything, I mean, does it make you start thinking about that next step now, especially when you go to a camp like this? I mean, I'm not worried about it. If it's in my destiny, it's in my destiny. But obviously, being among the 20, 20 of the top players in the country, you've got to feel like you belong there, right? Absolutely. I, and after, the, after the first day, day two and three, I mean, I, I felt I belonged. You look, oh, go ahead, Scott. I was going to say, and you look at your shooting, you've always had that good outside shot. How much have you worked on it in this offseason, and, and you feel it could even be more consistent than you were last year? Constant improvement. You're always you're either improving or declining, really. You're getting better or worse. So I'm always working on my shot, always trying to make it better. It's no secret that you're going to be probably the go-to scorer. I mean, you played the most and with Aaron gone. Um, what do you expect from yourself this year? And do you feel like now it, it's kind of your team, especially as a scorer? I don't look at my as my team at all. It's our team. And anybody who looks at us, you know, if I was to look at my team, I have to feel that that was selfish, that that was not team basketball. So I look at it as our team, everyone in. So I'm not too worried about this being my team. This is I'm the go-to guy. I'm not worried about that. I'm going to do what it takes to have my team be successful and hopefully win a national championship. Losing game Aaron from last year's squad, are you anticipating you're going to have to play in the post a little bit more than you have before? Yeah. I I gained a little weight, I'm about 220 now, so I'm prepared for that and I'll do whatever it takes to, to help this team win. Do you think you're going to be able to rebound well enough in the big time? I have before, so that's going to stop me now. Do you expect to play a little bit more four next year? Yeah, most likely since we don't have any really big guys other than Woody. So you think, you'll, you think that's where you'll end up mostly, or you'll be a three and four? I, mean. I don't really know. If I play the four, I'll play, still play the, the same way I do, so it won't really make a difference whether I'm at a three or four. Yeah. They're pretty interchangeable. Two, three seems to be interchangeable. In Fran's offense, it doesn't seem to be a real uh, yeah, hard it's, set. It's not a big deal. We play on open motion, so you're always running around. You're always in different spots. So that's not a big deal. Did you hear the news about Wisconsin this week? What was your reaction? I really don't care. Because I know you only play them once, and it's here. I could care less what those guys do. What about Greg Garner? Does he, I mean, Bo Ryan's kind of come out and said he should be the next coach. I mean, he probably wouldn't have come over. I got to be rude. Understood. Got in here late. What was the camp like? It was a very good experience. You, know, you walk in there, they treat you very well. I mean, they, they, the hotel is very nice. I mean, picking it from the airport, everything. On the court was excellent. Working with NBA guys, you know, like player development coaches and, and assistant coaches, it was it was a very nice experience. What was the biggest takeaway? What, what did you learn from that experience? Just that there's other guys that can do parts of my game better, and so I really need to focus on what I do best, which is shoot, you know, and, and drive, and pull up. You know, don't don't worry about handling the ball. Don't worry about doing other stuff. Trying to make moves on the dribble. Stick to one, two dribbles, and shoot.